Uh, sickle cell disease is one of the most uh, well-described uh, genetic disease and it's one of the most devastating disease. But all these years, um, we've had only hydroxyurea as the uh, disease modifying agent. And of course, having hydroxyurea is better than nothing, but then uh, we really needed um, other options. And uh, all these years, we had nothing approved for pediatric patients. So uh, we're hoping that uh, from here on, um, there'll be increased interest in this condition and there'll be more development. Uh, to treat this disease. Our purpose was to try to reduce the complications of sickle cell disease, especially the uh, painful crisis, or we co also call this a basoclusive crisis. Um, in turn, we have shown and proven that the uh, Endari does decrease the uh, frequency of painful crisis, but also decreases the frequency of hospitalization, decrease the total number of days in the hospital, and also uh, reduces the uh, occurrence of uh, one of the most devastating complications called acute chest syndrome. Uh, one of the primary adverse events that affected the treatment group was the bloating in the abdomen and uh, that is a common side effect of uh, this type of product. But these were uh, relatively easily uh, relieved by uh, the uh, uh, things like uh, uh, fiber, or laxative or stool softeners? Well, we want to move on to try to uh, show that this is uh, efficacious for infants too because our studies include uh, children five years and older. Um, so we want to extend this to uh, you know infants uh, like uh, six months to five years of age. Uh, right now we have the approval uh, just in United States, but we want to get this out to uh, everywhere in the world where sickle cell patients are.